Miss U, South Africa's first female sport climber who has qualified for the Olympic Games. Erin Stickerberg joins G Sport to chat about her history making feats. Erin, how does it make you feel just hearing that you are the first South African you know, sport climber to have qualified for the Olympics? Yeah, it's still a bit surreal to me. It feels crazy that like I am the one that gets to go. Um, I'm so grateful for the opportunity and that Africa was given a spot at the Olympics. And also I'm, I'm a little nervous, but I'm really excited to be able to compete with such amazing climbers overseas. Mm-hmm. And you talk talking about excitement. I mean, when you look at the, the African champs, that time when you did qualify mm-hmm. for the Olympics, I mean, can you just take us back to that moment for you? What was the competition like? And also, you know, just what went through your mind when you were on that podium and you got that gold medal around your neck? Okay, so the competition, um, obviously I was nervous before, also excited. Um, we didn't know exactly what to expect because the route set is on ones that I know of. So that was always going to be a challenge, um, seeing the routes and boulders, but I was really excited to get to climb them. Um, and then during the competition, I tried not to think about like the possible outcomes and just to concentrate on competing. And then when I realized I had won, I kind of didn't know what to do for a second. And then I like immediately ran over to where my coach and my parents were. And it was very emotional. All of us were so happy. And standing on the podium, yeah, that was, that was a really amazing moment. And obviously going up to that moment, there's been a hard, lot of hard work you know, coming up during your career as a climber. Where did it all start for you? Like, how did you get into climbing? So I started um, at grade eight at my school with Kai. They actually have a climbing club. Um, and when we were looking at the school to apply, I saw the wall and I knew that if I did go to the school, I would want to try climbing. So I did, I started in grade eight and I competed for the first time that year. And from then I just knew that that's what I wanted to do. I started training at the gym and obviously still at school. And I just climbed as much as I could. And it also is an exciting time for sport climbing as well. I mean, this is the first uh, time that it's gonna be part of the Olympic games. Like, why do you think it has taken the IOC so long to recognize sport climbing and put it in as a discipline? I think, I think in the beginning, climbing was very small and like more isolated as a sport. Like the climbing community wasn't recognized around the world, especially before gyms, climbing gyms became more open to the public. Um, Just a lot of people didn't know about the sport. But in recent years, there's been more and more gyms opening everywhere. And with that, you get more general public. And then as it's become better known, there's been more people. So now finally we have gotten into the Olympics. Yes, that is awesome news, you know, just to see you getting to the Olympics. But there's now also a debate on whether sport climbing should be considered for Paris 2024. I mean, now looking at uh, that situation, it actually uh, gives you guys, uh, it's all on you guys to make sure that this year sport climbing does well in order for them to consider it for uh, Paris 2024. Now, does it put any pressure on your shoulders going into the competition? So I think that it has already been confirmed that it's in the Olympics 2024 Paris. Um, I think, yeah, I think they have confirmed that it will be in and they're giving us four medals instead of two. So this year we're only getting two for all the disciplines to be combined. So one man, one woman winner. But um, in 2024, it'll be able to split into more separate disciplines. But as far as I know, it will be at Paris 2024. Okay, so that's really, really good news to see that it's getting... Yes, you know, no, it definitely yeah. yeah, and also, yeah, too, and I then, mean... Yeah, you can carry on. Oh, okay, I was just going to say, then, um, like, climbers can already start working towards that. They can start training now for 2024 and give ourselves more time. So that's okay. really cool. Yeah, definitely. And also, I mean, as we said, you being the first South African, you know, woman going into the, the competition, how does it make, you know, just is there any pressure that you have, you know, with that title going around your name? Um, I mean, I wouldn't say pressure. I mean, there's always like, it's weird that people might like mention me or know who I am. Like that doesn't really like make sense in my head. But I mean, obviously, at the Olympics, like it's going to be a big deal. But the 
the other names in the Olympics, like from overseas, they all like really famous and stuff. So for me, it's just like a privilege to be able to compete against them and with them. Well, everyone's going to know your name now. I'm telling you that. <laughs> <laughs> and how were just your preparations going, you know, and you also, I mean, you're looking at your studies as well. So just managing your studies yeah. and making sure that you have enough training going into the Olympics. How is that going to balance in the two? Yep. So I think, I mean, I'm in my track this year, so it's maybe not the best year <laughs> to be going. But I mean, obviously, you can't pass up the opportunity. I think it's just a lot of time management. And in the previous years, I have been overseas during the year to compete in the youth world. So I have had to deal with it and like work with my teachers a little bit after school and that kind of thing. And I've also spoken to my principal and stuff, and he is very understanding and they're going to try to help me as much as possible to have time to climb and learn. And so. It's really, really great to see that support actually coming around you and making sure that, you know, yeah. like, as much as your education is important, your career is also important. And it's also something that I want to now tap into is looking at financial backing, you know, going into the mm -hmm. Olympics. It's a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of work. You need to try and get sponsors. Do you have any sponsors or financial backing going into the Olympics? So at the moment, no. Um, Chris, the male athlete that's qualified, and I, are, we're looking for sponsorship at the moment. Um, we did start a GoFundMe page recently that we're trying to spread around. But yeah, we're looking for a big sponsor to come on board with South Africa climbing and try and help us get there. Would you mind like to sharing that the page, you know, the name of the page or where people can actually go to to uh, find you? So if they go to GoFundMe and they search, I think it's Aaron and Chris climbing or get Aaron and Chris to Tokyo, something along the line. Um, but I can also send you the link if you would like. Okay, later. awesome. Yeah. yeah, definitely. That would be perfect. And also just looking okay. now at uh, the Olympics and your hopes going into the, uh, to the games. What are you hoping to achieve at, at the tournament? So I think for me, um, obviously I want to climb the best that I possibly can, but a big goal is just to bring more exposure to the sport. It's not that big of a community yet in um, Africa and South Africa. Climbing isn't as big, but um, I think we just want to like expose it to people and give people that may be underprivileged a chance to join climbing, start climbing. Um, so yeah, that's that's like our main goal to make people aware of the sport. Mm -hmm. Awesome. And we know that you are going to do an amazing job. And also just Thank lastly, <laughs> lastly, looking at the G Sport, you know that G Sport is an all women's sport uh, platform that we look to just tell your story and make sure that we get your brand out there. What does G Sport mean yes. to you as just a young athlete coming into the, uh, you know, into the sport? I think it's such an amazing organization and it's so like cool to have it because it is clear that in a lot of sports women's women's sport isn't as important as the men's side so i think to have the representation by g sport is really really cool um and like even instagram like the updates and all the time it's really cool to see what other women are doing in the sport so um i think it's really important especially like today we need that in, in sport most definitely. And what message would you like to send just to a young girl who is looking to, you know, get into to sport and making sure that she gets uh, to a position just like you going to the Olympics? What message would you like to send to that little girl? I would like to say um, just try every sport. Any sport that you think, oh, maybe I'll be good at that, maybe I'll enjoy that. Don't ever hold back. Just try all of them because you never know, maybe you'll like it. Like climbing isn't something that is normal to say but i love it so i think whatever you want to try no matter what people tell you like oh that's not a women's sport or whatever just go for it like you never know what will happen definitely well we just want to say you know thank you for all that you are doing for women especially for young girls in sports and we wish you just all the best with your preparations for the olympics and we are We'll, we will be backing you uh, when you go to the Olympic Games. Just know that we will be right here. We'll be shouting your name and we've got your back. Thank you so much and thank you for having the interview. Thank you so much. Bye, Erin.